Okay, I want to cover using UE4 skeletal meshes with UE5 a logic for FPS multiplayer template. Uh, for today, we're using this uh, elephant body, which is from the UE4 uh, assets. Uh, or it, it's rigged UE4. And what, I, what I've done is I've actually taken this and um, reassigned it to the SK Mannequin Skeleton. I actually renamed it, by the way. So uh, if you look at this, you'll see mannequins, you'll see our meshes. Um, you'll see here that there's the SK Mannequin default, or actually I, I changed that too. So this is the uh, UE5 Manny Skeleton. And then I renamed um, this other one so UE4, so just easier for me to locate. So I reassigned a skeleton to this, and it matched up uh, quite nicely. And at this point, we're going to have to do a little bit of work with uh, our player character. So in this particular case, um, I've actually uh, uh, will take I take the player character, and I actually will make a child. But before I do that, uh, I decided to put all the logic in the main base uh, player character. What we end up doing is we'll actually have to add another mesh. Um, we end up uh, adding this mesh, a UE4. And actually, if we go into, oh, for God's sakes, viewport. Um, so in this particular case, you don't see anybody. But if I go into the uh, the child, and then I actually go into viewport, we'll see here that I actually, um, right here is the <coughs> the elephant mesh. Oh, sorry about that. Clear that out. There. So there's a skeleton mesh. And of course, it sits as a child under the existing. So this is what is how it really works, is that you're putting your UE4s as a child of the UE5. And then there's going to be a way of connecting it uh, with an animation blueprint so that it mirrors. And then we have to do some other logic so that we turn the top one off and the bottom one on. Um, I ended up doing that with, uh, with this in use, um, I believe. Use, uh, darn it. Use, use, UE. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I actually just created a public Boolean. Use UE4 mesh. And then I'm going to turn around and find references. And then here we go. Uh, actually, that's. Yeah, we have to put it in several places, but the main one that we'll have to put it in, this is the main logic, was here. This was in the update arms visibility. Um, we would get at this point, uh, normally this would be connected here, and then it would uh, it would turn around and execute this and bypass this. This is all new. And so uh, these two would execute and then it would move on. What we've done is we've added the Boolean use UE4 mesh. This way, you know, if you don't want to use it, it won't work. Um, and in this particular case, you can see where we've set uh, the visibility now. So we have to set this and this, um, just like the old logic. So this is the original logic for the old. So this is the original mesh FPS. And this is now our UE4 and vice versa mesh and mesh UE4. And then after this, we just shut down the other. So in this particular case, we're shutting down the default meshes. And in the uh, normal play, we shut down the added. Uh, we probably should do a check if the mesh actually exists. I didn't put that in here. You, you know, you could do a branching just to make certain. So this isn't safe. This potential we could crash if someone didn't assign any meshes. So I can go back in and fix that later if I want. Um, otherwise, um, this is the logic that you would need to uh, to turn uh, the lower ones on and off, depending on uh, UE4. And of course, when I go into my fighter character, which is a child, we'll see here it's a child, a BB player character. Uh, you will uh, see here use, and there we go. Um, oh, geez, where did I put that? Advanced. Oh, it's slow. Oh, right, duh. There, there we go, and um, there we go. Yeah, and I also labeled it UE4, by the way. I forgot. That was, if you'll see here, <coughs> um, click, stop, stop that. Oh, there we go. Um, uh, I don't know why it's not. I 
Shift and pile. Anyway, I, I label the, um, why is it default? It's, anyway, I ended up um, listing it as UE4. Sorry about that. Just, I, I went down the side road. I shouldn't have done my mistake. I'm just not getting the details right. Um, actually, I wonder, did I just click on that? Oh, there we go. There. See? Um, category UE4. Done. Okay, so that that's the logic, uh, but there's more to it than you know meets the eye, obviously. Um, something else we have to do. Um, oh, you, one of the things you actually have to you in, in the mesh uh, in both these meshes, you need to is let's see. Um, yeah, you want to turn around and always tick pose and refresh bones. I believe. Uh, it originally was set to like only tick pose when rendered. If you do that and you turn off the parent, then the child won't work. I found that one out the hard way. So uh, my guess is this might be a performance hit. Because uh, if the, uh, I don't know what happens when the parent visibility is turned off, does it still animate? Probably. Uh, but then again, if it's mirroring, it maybe we're only taking the hit once. Maybe. I don't know. Um, so just keep in mind you got to turn that on, otherwise when you turn off the uh, the parent, the the bottom one stops animating. You'll still see it, just won't animate. Um, and another thing we have to do is create a new an oh well it, oh why isn't it why is there no there should be an animation. I thought I created an animation blueprint for that. I guess I didn't. Okay, that's. I believe the way. Oh, player character. Yeah, player character. Maybe. Did I do it in here? Maybe. And stop that. Yeah, I may have. Yeah. Okay, I made a mistake here. Um, what I did is in the uh, child blueprint, I assigned the animation blueprint. I really should be assigning it in the parent. I should be putting it there. I'll do that later and see if it works or not. So for now, in your child, um, you create a new animation blueprint. Let's go take a look, see where that is. Here we go. So uh, I created a new one, ABP UE4 mannequin. Um, and of course, you assign it the skeleton, the UE4 mannequin. And let's open this thing up. And this is the uh, this is the fun. That's it. Retarget pose for mesh. So you will, um, you know, I believe it's just as simple as retarget pose for mesh. Yeah, simple as that. Type the darn thing in. Plug it in. And then when you're going to click on it, you will go over here and you will assign this. So this is the retargeting component. Uh, some we didn't have to we didn't have to make a new IK rig because it's already been made for the UE4 Manny and the UE5 Manny so we're lucky so you will see here in the drop down there's several different retargetings and you'll see here yeah we can, we can go in the inverse so I guess if you wanted to drive a UE5 we could flip everything around so if we were using old UE4 animated controller we could drive a UE5 Manny but in this stead uh, we're doing this and this is something I made which don't don't use that. Um, DH stood for something else, so don't. Um, so yeah, you just do that. UE5 Manny to UE4 Manny. And uh, use attach parent. I don't know if that's automatically clicked. But whatever, just follow this along. I think that's it. Compile. Um, and... I believe, yeah. So we, you know, like I said, we have the miniature inside. We got the big one outside. Um, and so let's uh, let's see the sucker in action. Let's see what happens here. Fire this up. Let's go break things. Create combat. Doink. Okay. I still have more things to change out. Yeah, uh, this isn't. We we started the same thing. I have more characters and classes to put in, 
and there we go. Yep, there they are. They're all running away. All my little elephant buddies. So there we go. That's a UE4 uh, mesh, and um, everything uh, should work. I know, it's weird seeing elephants with guns, but... And, uh... Yeah, it looks like everything's working. So. Oh, I got killed. And you see, I didn't set myself up as the elephant yet. I'm still using the default. I'll have to change that next. So, yeah, I haven't seen what the uh, FPS looks like yet. Um, you know, the camera. So I'll have to look at that in a moment. So there we go. Hope that, uh... Oh, we <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Okay, um, and I think uh, that's going to be it for, for today.